I'm super excited today. I'm about to cut my lawn so short it's not even funny. <laughs> Right now, I'd be mowing my lawn at a half an inch. Cross my arms. Why? <laughs> what is going on? I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited because I'm taking my lawn down today. I usually mow it at about a half an inch, but today, I'm gonna go even lower. Temperatures have been pretty cool around here lately, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm freezing my butt off right now. The lawn right now is sitting at about three-fourths of an inch, and I'm about to take it down under a half an inch and it's gonna be freaking sweet. Since the temperatures are still kinda cool right now, they're like around 40, 50 degrees, I feel like this is the perfect time to take my lawn down. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out and it scalps it a little too much, it'll grow back and it'll be even greener than before. By the way, any of you guys that are trying to start real mowing, if you wanna take your grass down, you gotta take it down a little bit lower than the height you wanna keep it at and then let it grow back up to that height and then mow it again and I promise you, you will get such a nice lawn. All right, let's bust out the trusty old Toro. Oh, shit. I don't know about that. Let's set the height on this dang old mower. All right, I'm gonna use my Milwaukee electric ratchet. God, I love this thing. Point four five on that side. Point four five on that side. Of course, this side changed, so you got to keep going back and forth until you get it right. Okay. Okay. Point four five right now. Let's tighten it back up. All right, so get a good look at my lawn. This is before I bring it down to under a half an inch. Like I said earlier, it's probably not the best idea, but honestly, I really don't care because it's still cool outside and uh, I'm a gambling man. I'm not gonna lie, my lawn is looking pretty baller right now. If you guys are anything like me, then you're definitely obsessed with your lawn. But it wasn't always like that. A few years ago, I picked up this house. It was the first house I ever bought. And let me tell you, the lawn was not in good shape. And that's where my journey with lawn obsession started. When I bought this house, there was leaves all over the ground. It looks like it wasn't cleaned up for years. And it just looked really bad. And like many first time homeowners, I didn't know what to do. See, just to shed a little background on me, I grew up in the city of Chicago. And in the city, we only had about 200 square foot lawn. So it wasn't something that I was really accustomed to. So like everybody else in this world trying to find answers, I turned to YouTube. And as I started my awesome journey of lawn care, I started following mostly LCN, as you guys know. He taught me how to sling down that fur. After I threw down that fertilizer, and a few days later, when I started actually seeing the grass green up, honestly, it was one of the best feelings that I could remember. And then in my lawn journey, I got a little bit more adventurous and I started seeding. And those seeds started to grow. And not only did those seeds grow, but a piece of me grew inside as well. I sprouted from a young seedling into a nice, bright young adult. And with that, my passion for lawn started. Over the past few years, I've been getting a little bit more adventurous in my lawn care. 
and I really wanted to see how far I could push my lawn and how good I could really make it. So I thought to myself, let's make it look like the shining bright greens of Wrigley Field. And then I saw more results, and more results. And then very quickly my lawn became very awesome, and I loved it, and it was something that I made. And it was something that I was truly passionate about. After I learned to perfect my 4 inch cut grass, I wanted to venture into something a little more advanced. So I started looking into real mowing. When I started real mowing, that's when the slippery slope started. And if any of you guys started real mowing, you know exactly what I'm talking about. First I started with the manual Scots mower. And although it was fun and enjoyable, I needed to upgrade. There was an itch, there was a passion growing inside me. So I picked up a Toro Greensmaster on Craigslist. It was in shambles. It looked horrible. But a little bit of TLC goes a long way. I fixed it up. I serviced it. I made a new friend at a golf course who would sharpen my reel for me. And that was the beginning of the shortcut lawn. I knew that I started developing a lawn addiction when I would wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning just to watch video upon video of backpack sprayers. After I picked up my Greensmaster, I quickly learned that I wouldn't be able to use it on my bumpy, canyon-ridden lawn. So I started leveling. And I'm proud to say that I'm still leveling today. Now here I am a few years later making the same exact videos that I watched constantly in order to get to where I am today. And I couldn't be more proud.